Welcome to Analyticiana's video tutorial series on elemental analysis of edible oils and fats by UV Vis Spectroscopy. You're watching the first episode about sample preparation. Make sure to check out the other episodes as well on our Analytic Yena YouTube channel. Hello, my name is Francisco, and together with my colleague Sandra, we would like to give you some tips and hints uh, about how to optimize your analysis of oils using an UVV spectrometer. UVV spectrophotometry is a very diverse analytical tool. In contrast to uh, element and combustion analysis technologies, UVVIS allows um, a non-destructive qualitative and quantitative determination of molecules in the target matrix. Through the specific absorption of UV and VIS light, your target molecule can be easily detected. Apart from compound concentration analysis, UVVIS spectroscopy is a well-established tool in several industries. For example, uh, process monitoring based on, on standard parameters such as color analysis. But let's go back to our oil analysis and especially to Sandra. She will guide us through the whole workflow from the sample preparation up to the data analysis. In this case, we will be using crude palm oil as an example. Let's begin. We will start with the necessary materials. Besides the crude palm oil sample, we will require the following items. First, we need the spectrophotometer and also ISO octane. We will be working with high quality optical materials, such as quartz qubits. We urge you not to use low quality solvents that could damage the optical surface. We will be using a 10 mm quartz qubit. If you prefer to use more than one, please verify the optical properties because they might differ. Please be aware that glass qubits are not suitable for this experiment because they absorb all the light below 350 nanometers. We will also need some pasteur pipettes a 25 milliliter volumetric flask with a suitable cap, a high precision balance, and last but not least, a heating panel with a beaker full of distilled water to liquidify the crude palm oil. Before getting into the preparation, verify the information in the solvent bottles and make yourself familiar with the risk and safety indications. Also make sure you know how to dispose solvent samples and other materials. We highly recommend to rinse all the glassware and especially the qubits with ice octane. Palm oil samples, and especially crude palm oil, are solid at room temperature. For further analysis, they need some pre-treatment. The flask containing the sample is then heated up in a bath above 70 degrees until we reach a clear reddish oil. If after heating up, the oil is still not transparent, you will need to separate the suspension from the solution. For the following step, we will dissolve a small portion of crude palm oil in ice octane. First, fill the bottom of the volumetric flask with ice octane. Now position the flask on the balance and tear it. Using a pasture pipette, fill in the oil until reaching a weight between 0.1 and 0.5 grams to the nearest 0.1 gram value. Note the weight of the oil and fill up the volumetric flask up to the mark. Close the flask with a cap and carefully agitate the oil ice octane solution. The sample is now ready and we can proceed to the preparation of the measurements. 